Hi, I'm David and welcome to today's TechNed tutorial in which we will use Fusions 360 uh, to create a chocolate mold. But before we have a look at how to create the mold in Fusion, let's have a look at some real life chocolate. I had to go into this chocolate shop, eat half of what you see here, but then of course I had a look at the chocolate mold as well. So the chocolate mold itself um, was a little bit complicated, uh, but I did get, get to talk to the chocolatiers and they told me they used, yeah, 360 to make their chocolate molds. Right, this is the chocolate mold I created earlier, and these are the tools I used. The two-point and center rectangle, and then I also used the um, construct to create an offset plane. That will be shown later, don't worry. Uh, the loft tool to raise it up to the loft, and the fillet tool to round off the corners. So let's get to creating it. Right, let's do the first part. I'm gonna go up to sketch and I'm gonna select the two point rectangle. And then after I've done that, I'm going to then click on the plane down here in the right hand corner. Uh, make sure the set axis is also pointing up and you can see that here in the left and on the top right. Okay, there's a separate video for that uh, which you can watch later. Right, let's draw the rectangle. Uh, so just left click there and then just left click and drag as you would to draw your rectangle. And I'm gonna set the um, height and width to 60 mil, which essentially makes it a square. So you can either just click and drag up, or you can just click into the box and then type in 60, press enter when you're done. Now I'm going to use the uh, construct offset plane tool to create the top part of the mold. Okay, so just click on construct offset plane, and then it'll change the view for you. And then click on the bottom uh, part of the mold and then select in your distance. This is the distance between the two planes. So I'm putting in 12, uh, 12 millimeters for that. And then once you're happy with that, just press okay, and it will add in the extra plane. And then we need to put something on it, uh, which is the top part of the mold. So we're gonna go back up to sketch, and we're gonna select the uh, center rectangle for that. I'm going to draw the center rectangle on the top plane. Um, so just left click and drag from the center and I'm going to put in 50 mil uh, for the height and the width of this supposed rectangle. It's a square, but using the rectangle tool, of course. So put in your height and width and that's the top and the bottom uh, planes done for the mold. OK, so we need to join them together. And to do that, we're going to use the loft tool. And then you just click on the bottom plane and the top plane and it automatically connects those two together. So the final step will be just to round off those corners um, using the fillet tool of all things. To activate the, the fillet tool, just press the F key and the box will pop up. And then from here, what we want to do is just click on the corners that you want to fill it. Okay, fill it just rounds the corners essentially. So just go around and click them there. Let's move this box out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. And then once you've selected all your corners, uh, you can put in the amount of uh, how, how round the corner is going to be. So I'll put in five mil for that. So the higher the number, uh, the greater the curvature will be. And that's it. That finishes up the first part of the chocolate mold tutorial using 360.